before we talked about when we are ready to enter the simulation over here we need to define the component list and the fluid package but in this case our component list is already defined by having a petroleum s so because the component list is already defined if we double click over here for our fair, our component list we'll find out that it's already has some data like hydrogen nitrogen and so on moving towards the bottom we will find out that the petroleum say have already created a component list and assigned a fluid package so now we can enter the simulation environment and start our simulation so now we are going to add our first material stream over here which will be our recruit okay so th this is more like oil and the refinery uh, oil refinery so the recruit will be our material stream and uh, for this one we can assign this uh, material stream to a petroleum assay to do so we have here at the worksheet we have a petroleum assay section and we can attach it to an existing already we have some existing uh, petroleum assays that we have created before which is assay number one if we are doing as this a simulation in another case and we can import this say to another case by choosing import it from a file okay import from a library will give you some uh, uh, says available inside the library of Aspen Heises. so now after attaching our simulation to um, an essay this means we have already defined the, comp uh, the components that we are going to have so that's why we are asking about uh, the temperature over here okay so after here the current status is our um, assay is attached but still we need to add uh, the composition for this one okay so it, it will be a long list so just make sure that you didn't miss any uh, information like this one the composition is already assigned over here and added okay so this is interesting because even if we didn't define uh, the composition except for this one we have added uh, the volume percent for uh, these values they use the, as the data that we give to our st uh, which is the volume percent and they calculated the mole fraction so this is really interesting and it helps us a lot so now all we need to do is adding the conditions over here like the temperature and the pressure and the flow rate so this stream the temperature will be 66.5 degrees Celsius after that, the pressure will be 3447 kilopascal. And for uh, the flow, we c now we are having a molar flow, which is 37 kilogram mole per hour. After defining the conditions and assigning our uh, material stream into a petroleum assay, uh, our material stream will be defined. Okay, so it is defined right now. So from here we can check the properties for this stream we can check the composition over here we have oil and gas feed we haven't assigned it yet we have this one attached over here we can remove it by clicking remove assay okay so we are done with this one this is our first material stream now we can build uh, some of our um uh, our flow sheet okay so we can save save this one uh, as our oil and gas uh, characterization so we are done with this section uh, our recruit here is mainly for the oil so if we have a gas also we can create another stream which is a gas stream and this one will be our crude gas okay we have oil defined alone we can define the gas and the oil in the same in the same material stream or we can split them together and mix them okay so for the temperature the gas has a different temperature which is 66 uh, the molar flow uh, for this one is 49 okay so the molar flow over here it's 49.9 kilogram mole per hour okay so we have now defined the conditions now it's time to define the composition so the composition over here from the worksheet composition we have methane methane over here and it's 0.8188 okay so this is mainly methane this stream is 80% methane that's why we are splitting it uh, 
alone. The composition of ethane is 0.09 and after that we have propane 0 0404 and after that isobutane 0 0.145 0 0.0152 for okay so here we have ethylene and ethane okay so we need just to be careful because I've I was adding them as if they are well arranged but they are not so again delete this section and I'm going to copy and paste the values so for ethane we need to make sure that we copied ethane we have I have added the value after that I'm going to add the value for propane moving forward it's isobutane isobutane butane okay so this is isobutane after that normal butane it's really important to choose the right component because this composition will affect the whole simulation and after that isobentane this one is isobentane and okay we have a total of one so we are going to press okay now we have an a message that our pressure is unknown we have this pressure defined and this pressure undefined but if we use a mixer which is we are going to use now and this mixer is going to mix our recruit and this gas okay and our outlet here will be our um, well data okay or um, like this is the simulation of what is coming from the well okay here we have defined one stream and we are going to equalize all when we do equalize all means all the pressure is the same as the one that we have defined so we after pressing equalize all over here i just want to arrange this one to look better we will find out that if we enter the worksheet over here we'll find that we have a crude gas a root crude and the well or the feed coming from the well and all have the same pressure so if i change this pressure it will change both of them because we have equalized all uh, in the mixer the second option in the mixer if we look over here in the design parameters is to set our outlet to the lowest inlet which means i am having two streams with two different pressure and my outlet will be the pressure of the lowest pressure okay the value will be equal to uh, the lowest one so until now we are going to stop here we have added Two material stream and mix them moving forward we are adding to going to build our flow sheet more